Final thoughts on this here on the Porta Blaster at the end of this video, so stay tuned. Today we're going to be cleaning a Fujitsu mini split. We're going to do the, the evaporator coil in here. We're going to take it apart. And this is a ASU 12 RLS 2. And then we'll, we'll also clean the outside unit. Here's the outdoor unit. We'll be cleaning this one as well. It's not crazy bad. So the first things first, before you start working on the outdoor, up the upstairs unit, you want to kill the power. If you can't find this power here, you always want to do it at the breaker downstairs. All right, so today we're going to use this uh, Porta Blaster coil clean. Uh, it does about 140 PSI. Um, this has got low pressure, high pressure. We're going to be using low pressure today for this coil. And uh, pretty cool with this setup. It has everything back here. Pops out. It's got all the attachments you need. Nice little cubby area for that. Just uh, screw that on. This is, this is about a 15 foot hose. Um, goes in the out. Just push it on. And it just presses on here. And this other one. So I got a five gallon bucket. It's got about oh two and a half gallons of water in there. And this one gets plugged in here on that side. Just like that. So what we're gonna do is even though we have power, even though we have power here, I'm gonna use my Milwaukee top off so I got a full battery you just plug it in with the power and we have power just like that so we have about 140 psi That'll work out good. I got this, shouldn't be making a mess, uh, but I got this drop down just in case. Then we're gonna be using this um, speed clean bib along with the evaporator foam, no rinse. Um, as you can see, it's not real bad, but it's bad enough. This gets tight in there. And then this one gets tight in here. Give her a douche, as Steve says. All right, so. 
kind of get in there and clean that motor up a little bit or the blower. This is where the 90 angle comes in good and this one doesn't have the 90 angle. As you can see, look how dirty that water is. Yeah, that's just nasty. Pretty nasty in person. You can see all the oh, yeah. things just drop down. What is that? Just built up debris and yeah it's just a bunch of gunk because yeah so as I'm doing this it actually is moving that wheel around so I'm getting pretty much all of it It's a lot better than what it was for sure but the coil is definitely a lot cleaner and this is a no rinse that's nasty oh, i'll use some heavy duty cleaner I like to lay these out and clean these really well. Here you can just let, it, let them air dry, set them in the sun, and they'll dry off. See here, I'll just wring out and stick back in. Just want to dry these off best you can with a towel.
Now it's like they'll sit in the sun and dry off while you put everything back onto the unit inside. As you notice, I'm spraying the water downward. That way the, the dirt is flowing down, not back into the fins. Got a little bit of that clean around the house. Don't want to do anything to say to me, obviously. back upstairs and finish putting that together. I see a mist a little bit right here. These are these are always fun to clean. You should always run into different stuff and but they do need maintenance, that's for sure. Oh. There, that was easy. Let's snap back in place. And here there's two clips and that just gets pushed back. Then I gotta throw the screws back on. So here, so you got a screw here, here. So there's three, four, and that's all the screws here. And then there's three down here, one, two, three. And then this has to go into the lip up there. It's kind of hard to see. It goes up inside that ridge. And then these get Basically, there's little notches in there and that'll get smashed and then you just screw them in and then we're good to go. So I'll get this buttoned up and we'll get her fired up. And so with this model here, you got this little kickstand. It goes down like that and you can actually hold that up. But there's these little clips here. You have to push up, slide that little that little dealio in there and then you slip that up and you run your screw in there but this has to be on place for this thing to even operate So what I found works good on this is you take a little Allen, just a small Allen wrench, and you just get that in there and you can pry that down. Just like that. And you got access to those screws. Yep, just stick an Allen right in there and pop it out. I know that I got everything put back together. I like to spray a little bit of this cherry air older neutralizer just kind of lightly give it a spritz I like to spritz them on the filters just like that and then slide the filters back up in there just 
just like that and then you take your little kickstand thing down close it up so the biggest takeaway on this is when you get done cleaning this you got to make sure you understand there's going to be a little bit of water coming out of here um, if not you're just going to drench everything so but now that i i got everything dried off it's not going to be too bad now there's a little bit left in there Doing out earlier. Oh, oh yeah. But yeah, that's definitely cleaned the blower up pretty well. Oh, I think so. Yeah, you got some Hold this. It's a little bit of water residue off. We're going to go and uh, clean the condensate drain outside with the vacuum. Let's see how much stuff we got out of that water. A lot of stuff in there. Here, I want to take the shot back. You can see all the water down there. That thing was flowing when I had that cleaning that out. Good man kicking out some major heat. And if you got any value out of this content, smash that thumbs up button. And we'll see. So I got this on Amazon. I'll leave the link in the description below. This is probably going to be good for um evaporator coils on a furnace i wouldn't probably use this on a mini split again just because it is pretty messy it doesn't have the right angle tip the nozzle on it it's just it's just it's blast it blasted out for sure um but for all in all this this is good a good setup for cleaning condensers outside when you don't have much water pressure you can fill up fill up uh, one of these buckets uh, it's ideal for that because you got the high pressure setting and like I said this would probably be good for cleaning uh, an actual like a coil or an end coil in a furnace uh, where you know you got sheet metal around it's not gonna crazily get bad with um, drywall paint that's what I was finding when I was using this with a with cleaning this mini split so overall I like it um, it's not you know I do have one of those speed queen or speed clean uh, orange uh, cleaners I haven't used it in a while uh, the only thing I don't like about it is the battery it doesn't seem to last that long uh, but I bought that guy probably seven eight nine years ago um, but all in all this is a decent machine it's small I, I put it right in one of those uh, here, I'll show you. I put it right in one of these, um, right here. I put it right in there and it stays right in my truck. Uh, so, for the, like I said, for the most part, this works well. Um, but I'll, I'll leave the link in the description. You can go check it out if you're interested in one. Um, compact machine, it works good. Like I said, you can run it off one of those Milwaukee. Uh, top off battery pack so you don't, you don't got to worry about power um, it doesn't pull that many amps um, yeah it's very uh, very compact very light and uh, yeah power 80 watts uh, 70 psi to 140 psi um, only weighs 11 pounds so but for the most part it's a good it's a good uh, investment um, if you have any questions about this, leave them in the comment section below. I'll be more than glad to answer them.